the more I read about title update 4, the more I get excited about actually being able to play it on live servers. There are some sneaky changes they've put into the game. Not sure if it's all going to 100% make it to the live servers. But if it does, this update is actually going to be worth playing. I'm not going to go through absolutely everything in terms of bug fixes, but the most important stuff that we know about from people actually playing the PTS. You've got the exotic holster. I've covered that in a previous video. You've got a teaser for global events. There is a stealth nerf to the sharpshooter specialization. A lot of players are going to be disappointed, but we'll explain that more in depth as we get through the video. So that'll be towards the end. To start off, we have the gunner specialization. It's going to be the minigun one. There's a lot of videos on YouTube covering it already. You're going to have to do the special field research, which is five sets of challenges in order to unlock it. Unless you have the year one pass, you can skip those and then do them in your own time to earn exclusive cosmetic rewards. So far from what I've seen, these challenges, they're not hard, but they're tedious. They're going to take a lot of time. People are estimating about 20 hours worth of gameplay to actually get through them, which for those of you that don't own the year one pass, sounds like a massive disappointment. But once you've got the grind done, you have the gunner specialization. It could be worth it in the end. We've not actually seen any gameplay so far. They've actually put in the patch notes that all PTS participants have immediate access to it, but it seems as though that's not the case. People are saying they're having to do the field research in order to use it. So we have that, and then we have the generic mods. They are being pretty much wiped out of the game. They're still going to be in the game. It's just you can no longer use them on high-end gear. So if you've got a 500 gear score high-end build, you can't go back to, like, go over to an alt character that is low level, go into the dark zone, get the generic mods, and put them on your gear. Although you do get like 6% weapon damage on some of the generic mods and they can be used in all the slots. But if you play the game for enough, you go through the grind, you can get high ends that sometimes come with like 2% damage to armor, 1% weapon damage and then 5% LMG damage and stuff like that. So you can actually get high stat rolls on these high end mods. Not just high ends, but generic mods can no longer be used on gear sets or exotic items either. You can still use them on lower like superior, which is purple and down. Nothing from high end up. Roosevelt Island, they've made the shipping containers that contain the virus samples easier to spot. Finally, and I say finally because ever since launch this has been a massive problem, the bulletproof backpacks these dickhead NPCs carry like the medics, they are no longer bulletproof. We can now shoot, destroy and damage NPCs backpacks. They've decreased the acceleration of NPCs when repositioning and cover, enabled engineer archetype NPCs to set up turrets on the ground if no valid cover position exists, fixed various issues with controller archetype NPCs getting stuck or being unresponsive in certain situations, NPCs cannot be suppressed when they're deploying the drone. Then there's some UI changes. They further improved the reviver hive, which should result in it more reliably reviving downed agents. I've not had a problem with it for a long time now. In terms of it not working, the only problem I've had with it is how long it actually takes to get you back up. They've made a change to the assault drone. It's now going to, after it's killed its enemy, it's now going to target the enemy you're shooting at. If you're not shooting at anyone, then it's going to kill the enemy closest to the owner, so closest to you. The talent description for Rooted now states the intended cooldown of 60 seconds, commendations, dark zone stuff, then literally, I'm going to guess, no exaggeration, I'll leave a link in the description so you can have a look at this, there is probably, I'm going to say around 50 to 80 different bug fixes, there is a hell of a lot, well, 30 to 50, that was a bit of an exaggeration, but just a quick scroll up and down through them, it looks as though there's like 30 to 50 different ones. So the biggest things from what they've officially confirmed is the gunner specialization, the generic mods, the NPCs backpacks, and I'd say that's pretty much it. There's been a teaser that pops up with the tooltips, so like when you first reach level 30 it will come up explaining how the invasions work and stuff like that. There was one that popped up that doesn't have any text description, but it does say global events, so I'm not sure what they're doing with that. We're going to have to wait until later down the line, closer to the time of the release, to find out. And then there was something else I found. I haven't dug too deep into researching what's happening in the PTS for Title Update 4, but the other thing I did find, which I feel is quite important as well, is they have nerfed the sharpshooter specialization. I say nerfed because a lot of you that rely on it for your builds for the extra DPS, you're going to class it as a nerf, but I would just say they've balanced it. They've now done it so you can enable free passive weapon talents, and I think that works for all of the specializations. 
because this image here that I'll put on screen now is someone on the PTS using Demolitionist and if you look towards the bottom left you can see all the different gun types in the game and you can actually put points into the system so that you can basically create whatever build you want from each of the specializations. I'm hoping that it's come to all three and you don't just necessarily have to put 15% damage increase to three different weapons. If you wanted to you could put 5% on every single weapon and then bump two of them up to 10% because you get nine points in total all. nine points when I say that I mean like nine tiers you get 45 specialization points to use apparently there's a specialization ammo change I don't know what that is but I'm gonna guess that's to sort it out for the gunner specialization and what they've done with sharpshooter is they've removed the reload speed perk and now the headshot bonus only works with rifles and marksman rifles you can no longer use it for any gun type in the game but it's not necessarily just a bad thing that the 25% headshot damage and the reload speed is gone because you can now put 15% weapon damage for any weapon type onto the specializations. And I honestly think that it's a good change because it's going to stop everyone relying on sharpshooter. I relied on it as well for the boosted DPS you got. And hopefully this is balanced enough so that all specializations get used because they have all these different talents and stuff you can use for your team and sharpshooter just got abused because it had so much DPS increase. There's perks like extra damage to targets out of cover. If your group members are closer to enemies they get bonus damage dealt. There's loads of different things within the specializations that nobody was using because of the DPS boost. And because the PTS isn't working the way it's supposed to, like people can't even log on to the PTS, and everyone's saying that you have to do the special field research in order to unlock the specialization for Gunner, I don't actually know what's a part of that specialization yet. But one thing I'm looking forward to and I'm definitely going to do is I'm going to make a pistol or a revolver build for the holster because now I found out they're switching the specializations up you can actually boost your pistol damage through the specializations. Then if you boost it, it will make a proper build optimized for it. Alongside this exotic holster, I think pistols are going to be 20 times more OP than they already are. But I've been rambling on about this stuff for a little while now, so I'm going to leave the video there. Anything else you guys can add to it if you play on the PTS and you found something I haven't mentioned, then let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.